Hi there guys, just a quick video today on how I cut the pallets down that I collect either for building purposes or firewood so I start with a circular saw running down each side as you can see you don't have to have a circular saw, a regular saw will do and if you don't have any of them tools it doesn't matter I do run over a quick method later on where you don't need any tools so I use a circular saw down the side and then I'll have a pry bar and a hammer this method will work on big pallets as shown now or small pallets it doesn't matter which uh, if you are plan on planning on building um, like plant pots for vegetables and things like that it is important that you find the right pallets because some pallets are different you what you're looking for is this sign just here so this stamp here at the bottom where it says HT that means it's been heat treated for the cure process not chemical you want this if you want to be growing food that you're going to be eating so anyway to get the wood off what you're going to do is just hammer your piece in like that and just slowly work at it don't rush into it if you do it too hard you'll break quite a few pieces as I will show you later on in the video I did break quite a few but they come away fairly easy once you've cut the sides you don't have to cut the sides like I do you can just pry them off which I will show you at the on the next pallet but as you can see it's nice and simple this middle one didn't want to come apart uh, away from the other bits because usually the ends and the middles have three to four nails in where the um, other ones only have like one or two so don't worry too much about it depending on how much wood you wanted to harvest from each pallet me I'm not overly fussed I do harvest enough wood just a quick tip on how I remove nails. So I get pliers, put it on each side of the nail, hammer down. This stops the nail from bending over and it makes it a lot easier to pop out like so. Then you're just left with the little hole without any issues. And as for these last few bits, I just run my saw over them. I did try get them off with the bar, but they were having none of it. So I'm not overly fussed about wasting too much time trying to get them and risking breaking them. So all I do is just chop them up into small sections like so and I'm happy with them bits then if I don't end up using them I'll put them in the burner so they'll always be used for some purpose or another uh, it's personal preference like I say if you want to take the time and potentially get more wood per pallet that's that's personal choice but I don't bother I just chop these bits down because I usually find a use for them anyway so as for the final result I got three of these little bits let's call them medium bits I've got eight of these uh, which isn't too bad and then as for these bigger bits just here, I got six of them. So that's not too bad. I can accept that from one pallet. I break down enough to get quite a bit of wood. As for these bits, these will go in the burner. But four of these sections here, um, like I said, they won't really serve much purpose other than going in the burner. As for these corner blocks as well, and I'm fortunate enough only to break these bits here. Right, so this is the second method. It's very similar to what we went over earlier, is just getting your bar underneath it, slowly making your way around. Uh, with this method, you've got to take your time, though. Uh, definitely a lot more than what I'm doing in here. I ended up breaking every single lat on this side, so I lost quite a bit of usable wood. Uh, but that's that's the payoff. Some Sometimes these pallets, you'll pop them, They'll come straight off without an issue. Other times, you move it a little bit and it just splits. Like this pallet, probably a little wet, so it just split rather than came away. But this method can be useful, you know, if you don't have a saw or things like that. And it, it is fairly fast, to be honest. It's 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 not like the last method, which I will show you. Um, yeah you can pop away quite quick as you can see i'm doing and and this one you'll get the full width of the pallet especially if you don't break the beginning like i did so i probably got three quarters of each length here rather than a full length because i ended up splitting them all but if you manage not to break them you get the full lengths and don't sacrifice them few inches on each end with as you do with the saw so once you go around just keep doing this make your way all the way around the pallet Pry it off a little bit at a time. These bits can be a bit of a pain, uh, but if you take your time again, just slowly pop it, it'll come straight out like this. And again, nice and steady. Take your time with it. Faster you go, you're going to break them. Uh, as for the last sections, what I'll end up doing 
so once you got this off I'll come round here and got the tops off I just pry the, this last bit away it comes down and same again I end up breaking it here sometimes it breaks sometimes it doesn't but you know it is what it is and then just go to work on them last three bits there as for this last method we're just going to step around find a weak point and just as I put my foot through it you're going to have nails in it so what I would suggest doing is flattening them nails off just by putting it on the ground and stepping on it and making them flat that way you don't stab yourself so this method is probably the slowest method is the quietest method if you are in say an apocalypse situation uh, this is a good method for getting firewood and stuff like that without making a ton of noise like the other methods do but yeah so once you've got your wood you just need to pry on it a little bit and then work your way around each side don't focus on one side too much just spread it across all of it and it will pop off and bit by bit you will take your pallet apart so as you can see here just working my way up and down going back and forth and eventually it will just pop out so yeah like I say, this one takes a bit longer, but if you keep at it, you'll have quite a bit. Hopefully you won't break too many pieces. Um, again, it's hit and miss with the pallets. Sometimes you'll break them all, sometimes you won't break any. So, hopefully you will uh, gain some knowledge from all this. If you have, please drop us a thumbs up. And if you could subscribe, that would be brilliant. And I'll see you in the next video.